Hello and welcome to the September 2023 Nashville Market Update. My name is Alex Brando and I'm thrilled to be bringing you a market update for Davidson County specifically. We've been doing these market updates, but you all have asked and so we are answering. We're going to do a specific deep dive on Davidson County. We also have a market report just like this for Williamson County and we also have a market report that we're doing on the luxury combined in Davidson and Williamson County. So if you're interested in any of those, please let us know. But today we're talking about Davidson County and there's some key statistics that we're going to jump right into and start talking about so here we go let's jump right into it we have had new listings in august of 2023 we're down almost 20 percent over the same period last year now that's new news and something to be shared while we're out in the market the market has got a lot of unique things happening in it and this is one of them that this time last year we had 100 1323 active listings on the market new listings come to market and this month we've had 1,442. So that's off about 20% for the same period last year. But interestingly enough, you go to the exact next thing, right? The pending sales. And it's very, very close. When you look at that, we, we have um, from last time last year, 863 um, pending sales in the month. And we have 829 only just under a 4% change uh, over the same period last year. Now, this is one of those unique statistics. We have 20% less inventory, but very, very similar sales volume. So as we continue down uh, our statistics that we track, this is another interesting one that's actually to most of the market's favor, and that's actually the number of days on market until the sale. The same period last year, we were looking at 12 days on market before we went to contract, and we're up to about 21%. Uh, now, that's a significant increase, right? 75% increase over the same period last year. What's interesting and what we're sharing about that is the market is extremely value sensitive. And value sensitive is making sure that if you price it on the market, it'll go and it'll go quite quickly. But when you're seeing this variance, you're seeing that there's a shift in the market that if it's way overpriced uh, or not priced at market, it will stay on market, which is why we're seeing a little bit of a skew there. Our median sales price uh, in all of Davidson County, 486, um, and that's up uh, right at 4% uh, over this time last year. And our average sales price across the county, uh, up uh, over 7% at 666,000. Um, now, here's one of my favorite statistics the percent of list price received. And this time last year, you can go into the market and see right here, we were at 99.2%. And we've seen that come off a little bit. Here we are at 98.4%, so just under 1% variance. However, if you go across and you look at where we were actually this same period last year, you see that we were way up year to date at 102%. So everyone's asking, when's the market going to crash? What's going on with it? And I'm telling you, there's opportunity in the market today. We've had multiple closings happen this year, hundreds of thousands of dollars under the initial list price, hundreds of thousands under the initial list price. So there's opportunity in this market. It's just which one is yours to step into. And this is one of the key indicators is that people are saying, well, they're looking at their list price to sales price and they're actually seeing that they're not getting a, the deal that they want. When in reality, the market is significantly down from where it was a year ago. We're just not comparing the right statistics. We're looking at the current list price to sales price ratio versus this same period last year. And that's where opportunity uh, does uh, lie. So when we go in here, we've got some condo uh, pricing as well. Uh, condos, we're seeing actually an uptick in those. In spite of the statistics here, we've seen new listings down from 400 this same month last year to 261. But here's the cool thing. We're actually 
up in the condo sales. Condo sales and townhouses up to 305 over the same period last year, a 6% increase. Now that's significant because we're seeing more people start to look at those and start to choose to go look at the condos for the amenities, for we have clients looking for lock and leave properties that they can live in multiple cities and visit uh, people throughout the country and the world for that matter, um, people downsizing or right sizing. Um, and then it's also some people buying their first property that they're choosing to be like, hey, this is all I need for now. We can wait for the move up uh, in the future. So um, some really interesting statistics out there in the market. We love sharing these type things with you and just something that's happening in Davidson County. If you'd like to know some more specifics about your specific zip code or about your specific property, let us know. We'll be happy to do a custom search for you. We love sharing details like this. And you know, that's why we're here. We're here to help you share the market, know what's happening on it, and to guide you on the decisions that you're making for you and your family. Please let us know what else we can provide for you. Drop us a comment, help us increase our subscription because we love sharing things like this in Nashville. And listen, thanks for watching. And until we see you again, keep on keeping on.